Welcome back everyone. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Playboy Club. Tonight, the 2010 Playmate of the Year and some other Playmates are going to be celebrating at the Horseshoe Casino in Tunica. But first, Hope Dorisic is here with me. She stopped by the studio to hang out for a little bit. Good to see you. I hope I got the name right. Did I get the last name You're right? really close. Dorisic. Dorisic. All yeah, right. That's it. Well, I promise I will never get it wrong again. <laughs> good to see you. How's everything good going? Good to see you. It's good. I'm so happy to be here. I'm it so happy to be here. It's my first time here. How did you become, first of all, 2010 Playmate of the Year? How did you even become a Playmate? How, how, do you, how do you make that, that transition in your life? I was in Dallas, and Holly Madison um, saw me at this ca outside this casting, and my friend was going in to okay. you know, cast to be in Playboy. And I'm in the hallway waiting for her, and she's like, Hope, you have to do it. You have to do it. You know, be on the girls next door and let us film you. And so I ended up going in, and they did photos for like a 50th an 55th anniversary party. And then I ended up on the April 2009 cover with Seth Rogen from okay. Knocked Up, Pineapple Express, and then now June 2010 cover for Playmate of the Year. Mm -hmm. Now, what did your mom say when she saw this? First of all, I'd, I'd love to hear the conversation, Mom, hey, I'm going to be in Playmate. And I, this is actually a go? really funny story. So, the first person I told was my grandmother, and what she said was, if, if I had the opportunity and I was your age, I'd go for it. So then I didn't really care what mom or dad said because my grandmother gave me the okay. Okay. Um, but then when it came time to tell, uh, telling my mom about it, she asked, do you have to take off your bra? The answer is, or was? I'm like, mom, the, the issue's on stands at every new stand in America. If you don't know now, you'll soon know. <laughs> I haven't looked inside. You brought one. Uh, okay, we won't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> we won't even go there. But on a serious note, though, there are some women who, who see Playboy and who see any Playboy bunny and think, well, th this just goes towards objectifying women. How do you answer those women? You know or what? Or those people, period. Um, I could say maybe they weren't asked to pose in the first place, but really, who's been on it before? It started off with Marilyn Monroe. It's such an iconic magazine. Elle McPherson did it. Cindy Crawford did it. Some of the people that have been on the covers and then inside of Playboy, are you kidding me? I mean, it's such an iconic thing. It started over 50 years ago. I mean, it's 2010. I just think that they probably weren't asked in the first place. Hmm. Okay, all right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> you were telling me earlier that you often go by the Playboy Mansion. You don't live there, but you often go by to visit. What's that experience like? What's it like being in there? Um, you see but all of the people that hang out there. It's kind of like a, honestly, like a family environment. You don't see what you think would like happen at like a Playboy party, like with any running around and there's no nudity. You go in and the girls are in sweats. You know, you've seen the girls next door, so they're in the dining room ordering things from Actually, the kitchen. I you never I've seen the girls no. next door on E? No. Oh, you're kidding me. No. Okay. I'm so. just trying to get myself out of any potential <laughs> trouble. Go ahead, please. Yep. Um, so lots of married women, married men watch the girls next door. And so they're sitting around in tracksuits, like ordering food from the kitchen. Hef has like Domino's card nights. And I think it's very different than what people would expect it to be. Mm. And there's also like screenings of things that aren't even out in theaters when Avatar came out. He had a 3D screen brought in and stuff and had like this movie night where everybody could watch it before it had hit theaters. So it was mm. actually the screener. So there's lots of cool stuff that happened. How has your life changed since becoming a playmate? Um, hmm. I think that in the U.S. people maybe recognize like the name more because okay. I've, I've modeled for eight years before I ever did Playboy out of Manhattan. Um, so I think maybe it's like name, face, recognition more. Nobody can say my last name, but... <laughs> Me included. <laughs> right, right. Um, I don't know. It's just been a really positive experience for me. Hmm. What do you see next in your future? What do you see coming out? I have two new movies coming out. Okay. Um, one is called Without Men, and it's with Christian Slater and Eva Longoria. Mm -hmm. And the other is a Colin Farrell remake w called Fright Night from a 1985 movie. Okay, so yeah. you're doing big things. Talk about tonight's party, though. I understand that you're going to be, uh, there's going to be some other people will have an opportunity, I guess, to become a playmate tonight. Um, they, uh, I know that since maybe March 7th, they've done a weekly right. search for a girl from this area to maybe go on and represent the area to become a Playboy Bunny or have the opportunity to go to the mansion and then test to, you know, shoot a centerfold. Mm -hmm. So, and that ultimate decision I know is up to Huff, but I was found, and I wasn't supposed to even be posing, you know, Holly Madison walks by me. Um, in the hallway of a, you know, a casting. So this is basically a casting and I might be your Holly Madison where you walk by and I'm like, Hef, you have to see this girl. So it's all happening tonight. Um, we're turning it into the ultimate Playboy Club. All right, you're gonna be down at the Horseshoe Casino in Tunica, Tunica Mississippi, as I understand. It's gonna be a huge party. I mean, you guys Push are really doing it big. I'm, I'm excited. 
All right. Well, yeah. look, we appreciate having you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Not a problem. <laughs> Folks, once again, Push Nightclub is where this is going to be. That's at the Horseshoe Casino in Tunica. They're going to be hosting the party tonight. It all starts at 9 o'clock. Tickets are 20 bucks through Ticketmaster. All guests must be at least 21 years old. Otherwise, don't even think about showing up. <laughs>